Yo, welcome Fronies, it's finally here. You can stop messaging me and it is the Gate of Infinity Guide. Today, I wanna show you the basics, no matter what class you're playing, some strategies that you can do to easily achieve those rewards right here. You do wanna get it down in three minutes every week actually, cause the trade conversions are just too good of a loot to not get it. And you actually don't need that much gear and even healers and tanks can do it. And then in the second part, we wanna take a look at the rank rewards where each class is being ranked. And if you are in the top 20, you're getting that wonderful emote right here that looks like someone is pooping. And if you want to poop in game as well, then you have come to the right place. So the first thing you need to make sure is that you're having quality stellarite. Right? You can craft that at every Suntree's craft merchant. Let's go, even two great successes. And then what's important is that you equip that actually on both weapons. You can see right here on the bottom when you select that, where it says unequip, you're gonna select it. And if you are switching over the weapon, you have to do it again. You see now I only have it equipped on one weapon. You have to make sure the quality stellar right is on both weapons. Besides getting 15% damage from the quality stellar right, we are also able to get 20 from the remedy that you can craft in the normal cooking. Here important is that at a 10% chance, you are able to get that blue remedy right here. The damage might not be different, but the duration. This one here is nine seconds longer and it's really important that you're getting the blue one. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. At the guild merchant shop, you can buy mana region potions daily. And those potions right here, you should keep running to make sure that you're not running out of mana mid fight. For the utility food that you need, the only thing that is giving you damage is actually the scorpion tail fritters. If you need more information on how food works, how you can stack it, check out that video right here. And for the damage version of the food, you will have to take the food that is giving the highest boost to your character. There's also food that is giving boss hit chance and damage to your species so if you're able to figure out what species the boss is you can also use that food for example or my example here for the crossbow dagger is actually the grilled crown fish which is giving me personally the highest dps in pve if i use that food because it's giving bonus damage and skill damage boost then of course to make sure that you have all of your skills optimized for a PvE Andy build. Since this is so different um, for so many classes, I cannot go into depth. If you want to know it for crossbow dagger, I have the link to the build down below. And if you're using all of those methods, even with like mediocre gear, you will be able to defeat the bosses in three minutes. If you don't know the mechanics of the bosses, I've already have a couple of Tatal Tower guides up for all the harder mechanics. Just take a look there. Now let's talk about one little trick on how you can actually sneak the poop emote and this is for the double damage. So usually like if you are able to rank in the top 20 like here I am like rank 3 right here then um, you don't have to do that. If you still want the emote and you do not want to try hard then you can always rank in the double weapon category. So instead of going my regular one crossbow dagger this is what I'm usually running. I could then run double crossbow and rank here for example. And you can see you are able to equip the same weapon kind twice. This is how you can fill those spots and sneak those rewards. You can also see sometimes um, just combinations that are barely run or not run at all. You can also deck that in. So I would say there's so many combinations that are not played at all. Like it's safe to say that with that method, you can almost guarantee an emote every run. Yeah, and as a little goodie in the end, I will show you my rank three run of the Maze of Death. Za uwe fru ik ni maya nifta van ting nik ting nari tumpaya katos ake katos ek kontalana weru tasi za uwe fru 